how to make your electric bike go faster. I started with 250 watts but I got boarding real quick. So I naturally wanted to make my electric bike go faster like any man child should. The power of an electric bike is addictive, but an electric bike's limited top speed isn't enough for any man child. So in this video, I'm going to ride and tell you something I'm passionate about, tinkering with things. I'm Rasta, but you don't care. So let's learn how to make your e-bike faster. If you pay attention, less than halfway into this video, you'll know how to make your e-bike go 40 miles an hour without spending mad amounts of dosh. If you skip steps, you'll get confused. Your bike will not reach 40 miles an hour, more like 28 miles an hour, slow coach. Do not skip parts of this video to fully understand how to have the fastest bike on the street. I'm talking e-bike power, baby. No matter your budget, I got you covered as I know the bro code. See a bro struggling? Help a brother out. If money is not an issue, simply get a 54 volt battery plus 1500 watt hub motor and controller kit, which will see you good for way over 40 miles an hour. You're done, my guy. Get out of here, video over. Psych. But some of you want a faster electric bike that does more than 40 miles an hour, right? So by the end of this video, you'll know how to make your electric bike reach over 55 miles an hour with insane acceleration times. 50 miles an hour plus will make your electric bike illegal on the road, so strictly for off-road use only due to top speed, police laws and regulations. Just don't bring attention to yourself, you be aight. But remember, this year alone, the police have already seized 53 electric bikes. Don't be number 54, don't be a statistic. Do pay attention to this. First step is connections. Save your bike from a fire and sort this out as soon as possible. Supplied with a lot of e-bikes are connections only adequate for cruising with pedal assist. This goes easy on the motor. But once you draw big arms from a modified electric bike, things might melt. In fact, they will melt. If you want outright torque from your electric bike with impressive top speed, make sure you swap your connections for more suitable XT60 and XT90 connectors. Cheap mod, but excellent benefits. XT connectors are designed to be durable and reliable, even in harsh environments. Your main battery connections that carry 36 volts or 48 volts should be on XT90 connectors. The XT connectors are designed to handle high current, making them suitable for modifying the e-bike for higher torque and faster top speed. They feature a friction fit design that ensures stable connections. The connectors are designed to prevent polarity mismatches, making your e-bike safer personal electric vehicle. Real quickly, you need a controller that can handle future upgrades. If your bike is currently 36 volts, get a controller that can handle 36 volts plus 48 volts, maybe 68 volts and 72 volts at the same time. Example of a decent controller that can do this is in the description below. Just a note, I might get paid if you buy one of these, yeah? Okay. Talk more about the controller later in the video. You can do the next modification last as motors can be over voltage but have a shorter lifespan. You can get a 36 volt motor, put a 48 volt battery on it and a 48 volt controller on it and it will run. It won't burn out, just check it doesn't get too hot. If it does get too hot, you might need a motor upgrade. Direct drive motor, they can take more voltage than actually rated. Hub motors, data rate and heat sink help greatly, especially if you're contemplating on pushing big power through your hub motor. Anyways, if you're serious about top speed and real torque, more powerful motor, which will directly translate to higher speeds and better acceleration. By more powerful motor in the electric bikes industry, I mean more wattage. Consider changing from a smaller wattage motor like 350 watts to a higher wattage motor like 800 watts or maybe even 1500 watts. Do not connect a 1500 watt motor to 350 watt controller. The speed controller will need upgrading to battery upgrade. This means big power gains. Higher voltage batteries will make your e-bike really quick off the line and the top end speed. Upgrading from 36 volts to 48 volts or higher like 54 volts 
maybe even 72 volts can increase the power output of the motor significantly which in turn increases acceleration and top speed but ensure the battery is well cooled with any extra power draws an electric bike tip for you battery cooling is important a cooler battery has less voltage drop and can maintain higher speed weight reduction is underrated in my opinion but check this a 200 brake horsepower car weighing one ton will be faster than a 400 brake horsepower car weighing four ton power to weight ratio matters reduce unnecessary weight every pound of weight makes it harder for the motor to accelerate and maintain speed so lighten the load by removing unnecessary items or upgrading to lighter components even tires yes tire optimization especially tire pressure ensure tires are properly inflated as under inflated tires increase rolling resistance and reduce speed tire type consider switching to a smoother lower rolling resistant tires designed for speed and pavement tune your brakes poorly tuned brakes can create unnecessary friction and slow you down more than you can imagine so ensure that your brakes are adjusted properly remove the speed limiter but how to remove the speed limiter on an electric bike easier than you think you got to trick the electric by the method that I rest on is about to share with you works on some electric bikes with hub mounted motors it is fairly easy and doesn't require specialist tools to ride faster with pedal assistance on on electric bikes you can alter how the controller receives data from the transmitter most electric bikes with hub mounted motors have a sensor that measures your speed via a magnet attached to the wheel each time the magnet gets close to the sensor, the sensor sends a signal to the controller. The controller uses the signal to call the power from the motor depending on the assistance level you are riding in. By moving the sensor to a different part of the bike, you can reduce how frequently the magnet passes it. Moving the wheel speed magnet sensor from the inside edge of the lower frame arm to align with your pedal crank instead attach the magnet from the spoke to the pedal crank so it aligns with the sensor doing so manipulates how the controller calculates your speed your pedal speed is always slower than the wheel speed the system thinks your wheel is moving much slower than it is and thus continues to provide power assistance even above 28 miles an hour you can get assistance up to even 35 miles an hour just by moving the magnet from your spoke upgrades no money involved you can do this to any e-bike that has a little computer on the handlebar therefore by mounting the sensor to a point on your bike that the wheel passes more slowly the motor will continue to work past the set speed limiter and reach higher speed but did you know there's another way you can get into your bike's display settings menu and trick the e-bike for unlimited top speed take the electric mountain bike for example if you have a 26 inch wheel set it in your settings right as a 16 inch wheel in the display for example take the electric mountain bike for example if you have a 26 inch wheel set it to 16 inch wheel on the display instead mathematically it is roughly the same ratio as kilometers to miles after making this change on 25 kilometers on the display will in fact be 25 miles in reality after this mod your bike will sail past the usual 15 or 20 mile per hour but the next bit will take your bike past 40 miles an hour change the e-bike controller for one that can handle different voltages from 36 volts to 72 volts for future upgrades this allows the upgrades to be done only when you have spare money but keeping your electric bike usable a higher wattage electric speed controller will allow more power to be delivered to the motor resulting in increased acceleration and top speed there is a way to increase wattage without swapping the speed controller this method is free but requires basic sold skill the shunt mod 
some e-bike controllers and even e-scooter controllers have a shunt that can be modified to trick the controller into pushing more power to the motor if the next 30 seconds do not make sense to you do not do the shunt mod your controller measures the voltage across the shunt as means to regulate current by adding conductive material to the shunt you trick the controller into delivering more current the phase current does not flow through the shunt though. The shunt is just a regulating mechanism. Phase current flows through the MOSFET. Modifying the shunt causes the controller to allow more current to the flow through the MOSFET. More current equals more heat. If the MOSFET can't handle the additional current, it will fail. So before you go modifying your shunt, you probably want to identify the number of MOSFETs in your controller as well as the make and model of the MOSFET. They come in a variety of current ratings and efficiencies, providing you stay within the available switching voltage slash current of your controller, you can swap out the MOSFETs for better quality ones, but eventually you run into the limits of the traces on your PCB. It's safer to buy a higher wattage e-bike speed controller. That's simpler for most mandem. Yeah, just buy a better speed controller that is not limited with higher wattages. Same voltage but more watts is the key to upgrading your e-bike controller. It will run with your current battery that way. But if you want to go even faster, the hub motor has to get an upgrade. Best getting a motor that can handle a higher voltage up to 72 volts is ideal. Speed controller that can handle 36 volts to 72 volts. And ultimately, a battery upgrade from 36 volts to either 48 volts or 60 volts or an insane 72 volts of power output from the battery. Before you upgrade the battery, make sure your speed controller can handle the 72 volts or your chosen voltage power. Motors can take over volting, but they won't last as long. A 72 volt electric bike will get 55 miles per hour. Safety is key. Wear your helmet, yada yada yada. At that speed, the police will also have an issue with If you want a loophole to avoid your modified electric bike from being seized by the police, watch this video. If you're wondering if an e-scooter can be made to be that quick too, watch this video. If you're wondering if an e-scooter is better than an e-bike, you can watch this video. Or you can check out this video. Like, subscribe and all of that, yeah? Rest on, right? E I'm out. Over here, bro. We are, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are, do I keep that on? Yeah. Cause I was a pro four, right? You seen that? Look at that. No damage on the bike still. My guy kept it, right? Jeez. I'm going to send you that clip, bro. That's an Instagram clip right there. You know? <laughs>